So we're going to look at gametes, and gametes is a posh word for sex cells. Now the two basic uh, groups of this, the ones that the animals here, and they're split into sperm and eggs, and the plants that are split into the ova and the pollen. But all four of these are all gametes. In animals there are two. As we said, there's the sperm and the egg. Now the egg is about 50 times bigger than the sperm. And both of them have a nucleus. There it is in the sperm, there it is in the egg. And the nucleus holds all the genetic information um, in the form of DNA, important stuff here. The sperm has a tail to help it swim and has lots of mitochondria stored here. These give it lots of energy so it can swim. And in the tip, right in the very tip of the um, sperm's head, there's some enzymes just in there, uh, otherwise known as lysosomes just here. And they eat in across the wall of the egg so that the two nuclei can fuse together. The egg is so big because it contains an awful lot of um, food here. And the food is to help the developing organism grow. So, in a brief summary, that's gametes for you, really quick, about animals. Obviously, we still need to look at plants. Now, in plants, a big focus is on how the pollen, here it is here, is transferred from the male part, the male part which is called the stamen, it's made up of a filament here, and an anther which is there, so we'll just go through that again, that's the filament which is the stick bit, and the anther here, which is the two round bits at the top, they contain the pollen, here it is coming out. Now the pollen is specially adapted either to be transferred by wind, so it's like a parachute or some big net-like device that can catch the wind, or by animal. And this is one I've drawn here where it can be kind of sticky in hooks and stick on to, well, maybe not animals, but probably insects if I'm being true. Okay. So the pollen moves either by wind or by insect usually to the carpal. That's the name for all of the female part of the flower. So the carpal, the female part of the flower, is made up of stigma, which the pollen lands on, a style, down which the pollen nucleus goes, and the ova, which are in the, it's in the ovaries, down at the bottom, just down here. Now all of this appears inside the flower. This is the right in the middle and the centre of the flower. So if I draw in one or two uh, petals, it might give you an idea here of how it might appear.